So this is Jojo Siwa and she just did the worst thing ever. If you're not updated on the recent Jojo Siwa drama, this TikTok simply sums it up. I see what he loves about you. You're so perfect. Now you might be asking, what the freak is she doing? Honestly, I'm asking the same question. What the freak is she doing? What has the world come to? But before we get into that, some of you might not know who Jojo Siwa is, at least who she was. So I'm gonna give you a brief explanation. Jojo started out when she appeared on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition in 2013. I actually remember watching that when I was like 7 years old. However, her big break came when she joined that very popular mom's dance show, where after she transitioned into the very popular kids network called Nickelodeon. You know that kid network that uses that annoying laughter just to tell you when it's time to laugh. So nobody better take a picture of me and post it online. <laughs> I have to take a picture of him and post it online. <laughs> Let's laugh. Like, like it's so weird. When she was at Nickelodeon, she basically became a fan favorite and a kids entertainer. Like she literally had her own show and was featured in so many movies. She even dropped a song called Boomerang that's currently sitting on 1 billion views. I would have said my best rapper can't even reach that number but you know my best rapper is Eminem and we are no better than to play with Eminem. I also remember that when I was 8, I never went a single day without seeing Jojo Siwa's face at least once. Amazing. She was basically the face of Nickelodeon at some point, like everyone knew and loved Jojo Siwa. I personally had a crush on her but you know it lasted for like 2 days and please don't ask me why. Anyways with the extreme influence she had on kids, she was forced to maintain a wholesome and family friendly image. But at some point she realized that she just doesn't want to be that kid entertainer anymore. When I signed to Nickelodeon, there was an incredible team and my career with them was amazing, the decisions we made together were amazing and then they left my brand my videos and i realized that i am the only human in this world that is stuck with jojo siwa everybody else at some point in their life either goes home thinks about someone else or something else i don't ever get to do that and because of that here we are today she literally just wanted to have a bad gay persona jojo siwa is back in the news because she told someone who went to her most recent show yesterday to f off she started by basically just calling out people in the crowd that were booing her and then here's just the video you need to watch it <gasps> If someone told me when I was 8 years old that the boomerang Jojo Siwa, the dance mom Jojo Siwa, the S face of Nickelodeon Jojo Siwa, we will be using the F word publicly in 2024, I would have lost faith in humanity. Who the living just booed me? I invented the piano key necktie! I invented it! What have you done, Derek? Nothing! After saying the F word to the crowd, that wasn't enough. Someone from the audience threw a bucket of roses up on the stage and then she picked it up and stuck it inside her pants and she did like it, you know, hit the, the spot. Honestly, I wanna know, like how in the world did the 2,000 people pay for her ticket? Like if you have $30 to spend on her ticket, you might as well start spending the same amount on a lady's bath water, you know, like Del Delphi. <laughs> Jojo was tired to be seen through the lens of only kids content and honestly, I don't blame her. Like look at how her room looked when she was like 15 years old. Now I don't dislike Jojo, nor in any way am I a hater, but I have never seen a 15 to 16 year old girl's room look like this, like I'm not saying it's bad or terrible, it looks you know better than my room, I'm just saying her room resembles that of an 8 to 9 year old, I don't think the 8 to 9 year olds of our generation will agree to have a room like this, like tell me if I'm wrong, that's just my opinion, I would love to hear yours, even the art fees was you know like 2 out of 10, you know I mean, you, you know what I mean, I'm not gonna you know talk about this, but the bow is kinda lit, her new art fees matches her new persona, but you know it's it might just cost you know like fifteen dollars per hour. Just get one, Jojo. I'm sorry, I just love watching that for some reason. The thing is, Jojo Siwa is filled with surprises. Like the people who often come to her shows never know what to expect. Like the time she brought a bottle of Fireball on stage.
I just have one question, okay? Is there anyone who's the fan of this girl above the age of 12? I know when I was watching her, I was like 8 years old, but you know, I'm older now. Like, I get that she's basically trying to adopt up her content and her persona, but when you're doing this for a bunch of underage kids, doesn't that make it immoral? And so, a few minutes ago, I was reading this article about JoJo's performance in Miami, and this part really stood out to me. She played to a crowd of over 50,000 people at the Miami Beach Pride Festival, and I was like, 50,000 people is wild. How the hell did she pull that? That much crowd that's the same level of that of infamous dms video where it was like he was performing to an entire country so i was wondering where the source of this article came from until i went on her instagram where she claims that she had 55,000 people i thought it was 50,000. she even claimed it was 50,000 on a jimmy fallon show uh, i saw you at the uh, miami miami pride yes. it was some record breaking like 50,000 people 50, or something thousand people and it you was, crushed it it was the most people they've ever had at miami pride during my set 50,000 people. Come on. After seeing that her interview with Jimmy, I found a video on YouTube which you know shows that it was actually 50,000 people that attended her show. So, you know, yeah, he's innocent, but the thing is, she's actually trying to get attention. Like, she literally said it here on this podcast. I have always just wanted to entertain, that is my brand. People think that my brand was pink and rainbow and sparkles, and now my brand is bad girl, scary makeup, and humping the air. But really, my brand has always just been to entertain and uh, to figure out what works, what's gonna sell, and to run with it. Well, believe it or not, the internet cherishes value and relativity. What she's turning into, she's not really relatable in any way. And it seems like she's trying to copy someone that she's not, if you know what I mean. Write your own songs! But that's not even you singing! That Emmeline song is amazing! You know what I said to those fuckers? I tell them to hold the motherfucking drama! Honestly, if I end up being stupid and somehow I paid for her concerts and she's up there yapping her beaks, it's either gonna be the end of Jojo Siwa or I'm gonna, you know, sue her for a cheap price, nothing serious. Because I would rather just spend $30 in paying for a Philadelphian bathwater and drink it than die or, you know, just pay for a random person's concerts that's up there yapping about her hate comments on TikTok. Like, just deal with it. You're the one who's changing your persona. Anyways, that's the video. Please blast that like button for me and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>